Lucy Craig still has the energy for a game of table tennis with her grandchildren. We are completely hopeless. <laughs> in spite of not getting home from the police station until two in the morning. The 71-year-old was arrested and accused of obstruction during the environment demonstrations in central London. In the 80s, Lucy took part in the Greenham Common nuclear weapons protests. She says she's never been afraid of flouting the law for what she believes is right. Well, I love this planet. It's my only home. Um, and I've got grandchildren, there you see. <laughs> That's what I mean. I've got grandchildren who've all got friends, who've got a whole generation of peers, and I worry about them and what they're going to be witnessing as they grow up. I mean, I find it hard enough to witness the, um, the terrible things that are going on around the planet, places where people's subsistence farming is dying out because there's no water, because things are being eroded and they can't grow crops and they can't feed their animals. Extinction Rebellion was launched in October last year. It was born out of another group called the Rising Up campaign. This was supporters recreating the group's symbol on a beach in Turkey. In Mexico, followers marched to the mantra, no more plastic. From India to Africa, there have been similar protests. The founders of Extinction Rebellion come from a diverse background. Roger Hanwell is an organic farmer and PhD researcher from King's College London. Claire Farrell is a fashion designer. Simon Bramwell, a former builder. And Dr Gail Bradbrook has a PhD in molecular biophysics. We also are creating a pause today to ask for people to reflect on the harm that we've done. At Waterloo Bridge, we found two friends who'd been inspired to travel to London from Gloucestershire because of Dr Bradbrook's words. When I saw Gail um, delivering her talk on climate change, on the facts from the IPCC report, um, talking about the polar caps melting and um, food shortages imminent in this country, even though they've already been present in countries around the world, um, as have the bad effects of climate change. Uh, when I saw her talk, my heart just broke. Getting arrested is certainly a story to tell the grandchildren, but it's for their sake. People like Lucy say they're taking action. Lisa Holland, Sky News.